Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I am the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And in the background, you can see an RG flying around, but you can also see a Parasaur walking around. So I thought what we would do today is attempt to tame ourselves one of these Parasaurs because we have a Lystro, we have a couple of Dodos, but I really want to be riding around on something. So I've made up a couple of bolas and I've gathered some mejo berries and I also have made a club. So we're gonna see if we can't manage, there we go, to knock this out or apparently not, okay. I wonder if bolas actually work on parasaurs in this mobile version. Apparently they do not work on parasaurs. Nope. All right, well. Don't run in the water. That seems like a bug that they may have to fix. Um, well, we're gonna see what we can do. I don't want to run down too far that way, dang it, because there are allosaurs, which I do not want to mess with. You can see them there in the distance, um, and they already have killed me once today, so I'd really rather not go that route. So maybe if we can chase this one up the hill, eventually we should be able to bring it down. If we can trap it by some rocks or something. Oh. Well, I hit it once, but that's okay. Um, I'm just excited to even have a Parasaur at all, um, level or no. All right, so there we go. I'm also gonna move these into my inventory. So it's eating some Mejo berries instead of other berries. And we'll give it some Narco berries just in case we need to keep it out. Awesome. Oh no. Ah, uh, that's an allosaur. And they're eating my parasaur. Oh, uh, we're gonna die. Oh man, those things are way too powerful. Um, come on, run. Ah, uh, I've been gnashed. Okay, I'm gonna run up the hill and see if I can't get away. Um. Well, GG. No Parasaur for us, I guess. At least not right now. Oh. Ugh. Man, this game, it never stops. Um, I think the spawns are not quite what they should be on this game yet. Um, the areas are far more dangerous than they should be for, like, a beachside hut. There are a pack of allosaurs and a bunch of raptors. There are RGs, all sorts of things that want to kill you. So I'm not sure. We may just eventually move to an area that's a little bit less crazy um, in order to get established. But, I don't know. I like to stick it out, too. I like hard things, uh, hence why I play Scorched Earth. So maybe we'll keep trying but we are gonna have to be really careful in this area we'll kinda sneak over this way come down here alright well we survived so there's that um, I'm gonna keep searching and see if I can't find a different parasaur to tame There we go. Because I really do want something to ride around on. Um, can you stop falling down the hill, please? I want the hide. I really want the hide. Okay. All right, so we're gonna harvest this guy up and then I think I will bring you guys back when I have found something we can tame, hopefully of rideable size. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna pick up this egg first. There we go. 
All right, guys, so we have found another parasaur. It actually did not take me long. We are just down the beach, and I think we are just going to go for it and see if we can't get this one down. Yes, all right. So now we're gonna need to pick ourselves some berries since we used a lot of our other berries on that parasaur that got eaten. Um, there we go. I'm give it whatever measure berries we have. I'm also gonna give it all of those. And I'm gonna eat these so that I'm not starving to death. Okay, that's a stego. We're safe. Whew. Yeah, a little ways up the beach is just everything that wants to kill you. So I am perfectly happy to hang around here and not have to deal with all of that. And we really do need to get some of these berries into us as well as some more measure berries onto that parasaur. Feel pretty safe around the stegos. Um, hopefully they will keep anything bigger from attacking us. All right, so the parasaur has already eaten the mejos. Oh wow, that's actually going pretty fast. So we'll give it a couple more. I'm gonna eat all of these and try to keep from starving. There we go. And we're probably gonna need more. We're also gonna need to collect some more hide. Now I did learn how to make the Parasaur saddle from the Ingram's list. Um, and it takes something like 80 hide, which is a lot. So I do have a few pieces of hide back in the little hut. Um, they're just kinda on the Lystro who is serving as sort of a storage box for me at the moment. But we're probably gonna have to take down like that Lystra over there, um, maybe a pig. I don't know, we'll see what we can do. We are gonna need to take down something though to get enough hide for this saddle. All right, another more berries. <gasps> Accidentally jump. All right, how are you doing? Give you some measures again, and then feed my poor character who is starving to death. All right, cool. So I may bring you guys back when this is up. Uh, it won't take that long, but I'm just gonna be running around picking bushes until that happens. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so we are back, and this Parasaur is just about to take its last bite. I do really like that little white bar that shows how hungry the creature is getting. That is super useful. All right, so now we have ourselves a Parasaur. Beautiful. I'm going to make it hold its own egg and some other stuff. Um, but it should be following us around now, which is great, because we are going to have to wander up and down the beach. And see if we can't find enough hide to make one of those saddles. Without running into anything that's going to kill us. Alright, so move down this way. There's a Lystra. Let's take that on. Come on. Apparently I can't run. Well, that harvest did not very much hide. All right, hopefully we could find some dodos or something. That would be particularly useful. I don't think I want to take on a moss chops. Um, they usually just run, but sometimes they do bite and that's never fun, at least on the PC game they do. Okay. I do like how the uh, dinos stop moving 
every few steps. That makes it a heck of a lot easier to chase them down. This guy's got to be almost dead by now. Oh, I do not want to hit that trike. Oh, that was way overshot. We're running out of arrows. Okay, maybe if we can... There we go. If we could actually sprint, that would be helpful. Yeah, all right, we got our pig down. Maybe we can get back some of those. Uh-oh, dangerous area. I really don't like those warnings. Oh, great. Nope, nope. So much nope. Okay, come on. And we died. GG. All right, Parasaur's dead. We're gonna be dead soon. Man, this game is rough uh, at these early levels. It is really hard to run away from things that want to kill you when you're playing the mobile version of this game. Like, the movement is just not great. And then everything... Uh, it's just there's too much dangerous stuff on this part of the map. I don't know. I feel like there needs to be an easier way to, um, to get back to stuff. All right. Uh, that's all of our metal, too. Alright, so I'm not going to make you guys watch this, but I'm going to respawn with the beacon and see if there's not a way I can get stuff back. Alright, so... Yeah. Is there a little death beacon there? No. Cool, alright. So we're going to see... If I can't get that stuff and find the beacon, I don't have high hopes. I also don't have high hopes for actually being able to ever sprint reliably in this game when I would like to. And I don't think that's that the screen is insensitive. I think that's a problem with the game not registering the movement, the double tap quite right. Um, so it is awkward and it is difficult. Alright, our Parasaur is dead, which is a bummer. But maybe we can get the metal pick back. Who knows? And we have no stam. So we'll just walk. Alright, so we are down over that way. Dang it, we were doing so well, too, before all that happened. Uh this game. This game. It's much harder to play well, I'm finding, on mobile than it is on PC. Uh, and I'm trying to sprint. There we go. Took a couple of tries, but we managed. Grab some stuff on the way. Why not? Alright, so there's the death beacon. That's good to know. Unfortunately, there is dangerous stuff in the area. Yep, that Sarko is still right there, as is that snake. So, I'm going to hang back a little bit. Hopefully they wander off and attack something else. Nope. Gosh dang it. Nope. Alright, I just can't run to get away. Come on. Ugh. The running on this game does not work. Like, you cannot get it to work fast enough to get away from something that is going to knock you out or kill you. Like that Titanoboa. So, I give up. We are not getting that stuff back. <sighs> and we still have a respawn cooldown. Excellent. So, Alright, I'm going to build some stuff up, and I will bring you guys back when we actually manage to accomplish something today.
right, guys. So we have actually managed to get our stuff back. Um, somehow, we were able to lead the snakes away and then run in really fast and grab some snakes. And it is now nighttime. So I am going to call that a win for the day. Um, tamed a parasaur, lost a parasaur, lost our stuff, got our stuff back. That is how this game goes, particularly in the early days. Um, so we are just going to keep grinding on. And hopefully we will eventually be able to make some real progress on this game. But uh, apparently today is not that day. And that's fine. Alright, so I'm just going to head back to the hut here. I want to make sure we get there before I sign off. Um, it would really be terrible to be in the middle of a, a sign off and have something come and destroy our face. That wouldn't be very much fun. Stupid pig. You're one of the reasons that we died. Well, your brother, anyway. Alright. So, it is hard to even tell where we are at. But I'm going to equip something. Hopefully we won't freeze to death out here. Apparently we are still freezing, so that's great. On the beach, which makes not a lot of sense. And avoid the dillo. Oh, great. Dangerous area. That's what you like to see. All right. So we are still down that way. We should be able to see our hut soon. Yep, should be over there. All right. I'm, lo I'm really wary of the uh, dangerous area signs now. I've been to just enough bad places that it's, uh, it's not really worth messing with whatever's in the area if you see that sign. Whoop. All right, back to the hut, and I'm a little bit traumatized after this day, so if we could stop glitching onto things and get inside. There we go. Oh, and the aloes are probably right down the way, but that's all right. Okay, so... That is going to do it for today, guys. Uh, it was another fail episode, but just so you can see kind of how there still needs to be some work done on this game. The sprint movement is really awkward to get the hang of. Um, and the bolas don't work yet on parasaurs, and hopefully that is going to change because parasaurs are, even without the sonar ability of the PC game, parasaurs are still going to be useful as like an early game mount. So if you can't actually, like, hold one still long enough to knock it out, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Alright, so, anyway, we are, whoa, this camera is a little weird. Alright, so we are having some fun here. I'm still enjoying this game, even though I'm dying pretty much all the time. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana. I'll see ya.